Sarasota Republicans meet candidates and protesters ahead of the August primaries. Plus, a Fort Myers police officer dies after he was allegedly shot by a Sarasota man hours after he was released from jail. And the huge I-275 project that drivers need to know about. Your Suncoast News starts right now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. First tonight, a sad ending for Fort Myers police after one of their officers was shot last weekend. Tonight, that community mourning after Fort Myers police announced officer Adam Jobbers Miller has passed away as a result of his injuries. Police say Wisner Desmaret shot Officer Jobbers Miller at a marathon gas station in Fort Myers on Saturday night, just 48 hours after being released from jail in Sarasota. While in jail, Desmaret wrote a series of letters to a Sarasota County judge detailing his mental health issues, including paranoia and asking for help. But experts deemed Desmaret competent to proceed and he was released from jail. He is now facing eight felony charges, most recently murder. Candidates in, in more than a dozen national, state and local races are looking to get support of the undecided voters before next month's primary, but some people in and outside of that event say our area is facing issues much larger than politics. As ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us, today's GOP rally inside Roberts Arena was hardly a quiet affair. We can make this the most wonderful country again. We're just hearing their thoughts and having a chance to talk to them one on one. This may be the closest locals get to Republican candidates for national, state, and local races, all hoping to make a good impression before the August primaries. The candidates speaking about the importance of the public school system, cracking down on immigration laws, and job growth throughout the state. And I think that personal touch that they all give us and that we give them is, is very important. It, it makes them more uh, human, more relatable. During the final speaker, Governor and U.S. Senate candidate Rick Scott, two more groups came face to face, demonstrators and police officers. One protester telling us he believes Republican policies target minorities and felt his point came across loud and clear. When I was being sorted out, a bunch of other attendees were leaving. So I think I got, this was effective in terms of disrupting Rick Scott, knowing that we exist, like we're watching out for his actions. Another group of protesters formed outside of Roberts Arena to bring attention to Florida's algae problems. Weeks after Scott declared a state of emergency, and Congressman Ron DeSantis spoke with local environmentalists about the issue. If that happened here on Siesta Key, the number one beach in the country, I bet there would be 10,000 people here. Some Republican voters saying the interruptions did not negatively impact Saturday's event. Now, I think it's pretty obvious from the crowd that it didn't bother them at all. I think it even strengthened uh, Rick's presentation, actually. Some of the candidates without a competitive primary tried to use today's rally to promote Republicans against the blue wave of momentum behind the Democratic Party that we've seen here throughout Florida. Reporting in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you very much, Erica. And just a reminder, Monday is the last day to register to vote before Florida's August 28th primary election. There are contested primary races for governor, on both Republican and Democratic sides, voters will also pick nominees for Attorney General and Agriculture Commissioner. There are also several contentious races for Congress, and if you want to check your current voter status, register to vote, or update your registration, we have a link up on our website, mysuncoast.com. Well, early voting is returning to Newtown for the first time in six years for these primaries. In 2012, 186 voters cast their ballots at the North Sarasota Library over eight days of early voting. And volunteers want to make sure those low numbers do not happen again. At two Newtown barber shops Saturday, workers weren't the only ones getting tips. Patrons were met by volunteers and paperwork to register for the August primaries. We can deliver the number of voters necessary to make sure we keep these local voting places open. Sarasota is once again making the North Sarasota Library an early voting site in August after a six-year hiatus. Different ways we can help the community and we enjoy it and actually we're learning more about it too. So it, helps us here and 
works out fine for everyone. It's a lot. I mean, it gives us an opportunity to, you know, vote on vote for people that will make a change. No one can vote in the big party races unless they register Democrat or Republican. And although Deanna Dowdle doesn't like it, she wants everyone to know about it before it's too late. We're urging everybody to make their voices heard by registering for one of those parties. And answer any questions people may have about the long list of candidates. There's a lot of information that's not being given through our mainstream media. And it's really important to educate our voters about um, the people who are running. Newtown lost its polling location in 2012 due to low voter turnout, and many are committed to keep it from happening again. And those volunteers will move from barber shops to area churches tomorrow to continue those registration efforts. Voters have until 5 p.m. Monday to register with a political party if they want to vote in the August primary elections. Well, a huge traffic project on the Sun Coast will start tomorrow. Here is a map showing where construction will be happening for the next 10 months starting on Sunday. The exit ramp from I-275 to northbound I-75 will be closing for crews to replace the bridge deck. The ramp will remain closed throughout the construction. And while this may seem like a big headache for drivers, an FDOT communications manager says it will actually cut down on a lot of delays for drivers in the future. It's an older style bridge deck. It was sort of the 80s technology that we're replacing um, because it does create a lot of maintenance issues for us. We're constantly having to go out and do maintenance, which is fine, except when that requires us to constantly be closing the shoulders, be closing lanes. And so, uh, in, in, and that's inconvenient for people who are traveling on it anyway. It certainly is, and the construction costs for these, this project is about $8 million. Well, now let's take it over to Wendy Ross for a first check on our first alert weather forecast tonight. Hi, Wendy. Hello, and things have really calmed down, Adam. We had the rain showers earlier this afternoon into the evening hours, some scattered thunderstorms as well. But now things are quiet and down across our viewing area, and we're not looking at any showers developing. And so right now, we are under partly cloudy skies across the region, and there aren't any showers at the shoreline either. And so another look at radar is showing that just a couple of lighter showers have moved on out of our viewing area. We have some down here around Fort Myers, but otherwise, partly cloudy skies are the rule right now. And we had those pop-up rains that developed east of I-75 right along with the sea breeze, and then those showers began to disperse, some of them moving towards the west, but for the most part, the movement was north and south with the heavier rains moving on up towards the north. Right now, partly cloudy skies, temperatures are in the 80s, and we'll let you know what we can expect for tomorrow's forecast in just a minute. Adam. All right, thank you, Wendy. Some new developments tonight, both here in the state and in California, as fires continue to burn threatening homes across the country. Tonight, Florida is sending more firefighters out to California to help. That is where the car fire continues to burn out of control in the northern part of the state. Over 3,000 firefighters throwing everything they can at those fierce flames, working in triple digit heat and tinderbox conditions. Over 80,000 acres are charred, over 500 structures destroyed, and nearly 5,000 more are threatened. At least 38,000 people have been forced to flee their homes, entire families scrambling to escape the flames in time. I have literally everything that I can think of that's valuable and shoved it in my car as fast as possible. The fire has reportedly turned deadly. A great grandmother and two children killed at least a, and, a, and at least one dozen people are missing. Some new developments tonight in the investigation into that sinking tour boat on a Missouri lake. As ABC Stephanie Ramos reports, we're getting a more detailed look at the timeline of events. Oh, no. Tonight, NTSB analysis of audio and video recordings from that fatal duck boat accident in Branson, Missouri is out. The recordings reveal chilling new details of how the lake water went from calm to deadly in a matter of minutes. At 629, 31 passengers board the boat. The captain says he's looked at the weather radar. At 650, the captain tells the group where the emergency exits and life jackets are, even demonstrating how to use a life jacket. Tia Coleman lost nine members of her family on that boat. They showed us where they were. 
They said, but don't worry about it. You won't need it. At 6.55, the boat enters the water. At 7 o'clock, investigators say the wind increased and white caps appeared. At 7.03, the captain makes a call on the radio, but NTSB officials say you can't understand what he's saying in the recording. Just a minute later, an alarm sounds, but the captain shuts it off. At 7.08, the video recording ends before the boat sinks. Also tonight, we have some incredible dash cam video that plays out like an action thriller. After a moving violation earlier this month, Brittany Nicole Jeffords pulled into a parking lot and briefly stops a passenger, hops out, gets a pat down and is cuffed. But Jeffords had more in the tank. She hits the gas uh, with deputies in hot pursuit, windows blown out. She swerves and slides around a trailer, avoiding deputies. And she was literally on two wheels. The ride ends when a cruiser swipes the back corner of the car, sending the ride across a couple lanes of traffic before drifting back and rolling and an ejection. No Jeffords, uh, who is still behind bars tonight. She faces multiple charges related to the chase, uh, including driving without a license. Well, still to come here on ABC 7, the new study that shows just how much of an income gap there is in our area and in the state. Plus, sorry, Fido, one local grocer is cracking down on non-service animals in its stores. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. So you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So pop quiz, which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. In the park on a bench, on the beach on a towel, or on your couch with your kid, your campus is wherever you want it to be. You don't go to college, college goes to you. That's Independence, that's Independence University. You schedule classes around your schedule and all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet are included with tuition. At Independence U, you'll learn from professional instructors with real work experience. You'll get personal support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree, but keep your life. That's Independence, that's Independence University. So if you're really smart, you'd call now. Call 1-800-965-2704. Independence U for an independent U. Call 1-800-965-2704. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. 
Welcome back. Income inequality is hardly a new issue, but according to a new study, it's a bigger concern locally than many might think. The figures by the Economic Policy Institute put, the, put our state at number two in income inequality behind only New York. The average income for the bottom 90, 99% in the Northport, Sarasota and Bradenton area is around $42,000. And while it is somewhat higher than the state average, it doesn't even come close to the average of the top 1%, which stands at over $1,800,000. If you've been bringing Fido grocery shopping with you, sticking him in your shopping cart and passing him off as a service animal, you might want to look out. Grocery chain Publix is cracking down, posting new signs at its store saying only service animals trained to aid those with dis disabilities are going to be allowed in the store. And no, even service animals are not allowed to sit or ride in those shopping carts. Service animals have become a controversial issue as several states have tried to crack down on people potentially abusing federal disability laws. Students in Sarasota County Schools head back to class on August 13th. That's why a local nonprofit is helping families in need get their school supplies. Dollar Dynasty, distributing free back to school necessities, handing out things like pencils, notebooks, staplers, and backpacks. But the first few weeks before school isn't the only time they'll be helping out families in need this school year. We give them all the necessary items that we have on hand or can afford to do after school opens. And it's a year-round program for the last 15 years. If you missed out on getting those much-needed school supplies, Dollar Dynasty, located on Martin Luther King Jr. Way, will also be giving out free school supplies from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. next Saturday. I want to jump back to the to the animal thing. I see a lot of animals going to stores locally, so yeah, I wonder if we're going to hear that pop up soon. Oh, I, I think they're well behaved. No, but they it's are. They're just fine. But if the if the management is saying no, we don't want them in yeah. in, the, in the carts, might be an issue. That's going to become an issue, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't have to worry. Winston stays home. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so Winston's I don't have to worry about Winston. And we do have high pressure that's located out in the Gulf of Mexico right now with a cold front, which is just stationary to our north. And that is helping to bring about some of the showers that we're seeing over the panhandle of Florida. Central and South Florida did get rain throughout the day today, but we got it in the way we should for summertime conditions. We got those showers developing during the afternoon hours with the occasional thunderstorm, and they developed along the west coast sea breeze, and then we saw them being pushed towards the shoreline. However, they didn't really make it all the way to the coast. We saw some of those showers moving to the north and others moving down to the south. And tomorrow we're expecting to see another round of rain developing during the afternoon hours and moving towards the coastline during the latter part of the day. Temperatures are going to feel as though they're 100 degrees. So it's pretty uncomfortable out there. There's nothing really to show you on radar right now. Things are quiet. We've got partly cloudy skies across the region. And what, this is what it looked like a little bit earlier. We had all of this wet weather developing over the central part of the state. And it was all moving in our direction, but it started to take more of a northerly turn. So some of these showers moved to the north. Some of them moved on down to the south. And right now, we're just left with partly cloudy skies, so we don't have anything to worry about. You can see just a couple of leftover showers and those showers dissipating. And what we're going to be looking at is that tomorrow, we've got pretty much the same story with the showers east of I-75, then moving towards the coastline with southeasterly winds. And at times, there'll be some that are heavier than others. And these showers can produce heavy downpours. That wasn't so much the case tonight, but we did get some rain east of I-75. If you didn't get rain, you you were closer to the coastline and you may not have seen it, but we are going to be experiencing another round of it tomorrow, so that's what we can expect. And then that future radar is showing that for the overnight time period, we're under partly cloudy skies. There may be a shower that sticks around out in the Gulf of Mexico, but mostly the winds are going to keep some of these showers away. And then tomorrow, we'll start to see them developing once again, mostly during the afternoon hours is when we'll see them. And we will get some thunderstorms as well. Today, we had a high of 91 because we had longer stretches of sunshine. 76 degrees for the overnight low. We'll see the same thing repeated tomorrow. And right now, as you can see, we've got temperatures mostly in the 70s, 
statewide. A few holdouts in the 80s still, but for our area, we're looking at temperatures mostly in the 70s right now. And again, the rain's pretty much over with for us. As you can see, the tropics are quiet too. I was gonna tell you very quickly, now that it's gone, the, there's nothing developing out in the Gulf of Mexico nor the Caribbean, and we're also not seeing anything in the Atlantic. So we've got another day of reprieve, which is great. For boaters tomorrow, winds will be out of the southeast at five knots, and then switch over to the southwest at 10. Seas one to two feet with a light chop out on the bay. And we'll get those afternoon showers back in the forecast tomorrow with temperatures very close to 90 degrees. As a matter of fact, we're gonna see those kind of temperatures all week long. We're back to a 50, 60% chance of rain for most of the work week. Tomorrow we're calling for a 40% chance of showers. Again, developing east of I-75 during the afternoon and moving towards the coast as the evening wears on. Adam? Now, sports. After carrying the Rays in the first half of the season, it looks like the high number of innings are finally piling up for the Rays bullpen. After taking an early run, one run lead, Ryan Stanek getting it right back in the second. Trey Mancini getting all of that one, and it's a 2-1 advantage for the Orioles. Very next batter, Joey Rickard, and he goes deep. It's back-to-back -back dingers from the bottom of that Orioles lineup. Mancini loving it in the dugout. Now Kevin Kiermeyer jumps Kevin Gosman for a solo shot in the third inning. That's Kiermeyer's fourth of the season, but the bases would be loaded for Rickard in the fourth inning. Still a one run game, but he clears them with this double that just falls fair in the line. Mancini and Rickards combining for seven hits and RBIs in this one. Orioles dropping double digits on the Rays again, who will try to even this series tomorrow. Approximately 200 young golfers signed up for the Drive, Chip, and Putt Championship Qualifier Saturday at Bobby Jones Golf Club. Sarasota's historic municipal course was one of 21 picked to host a qualifier. Golfers ages 7 to 15 split into four age brackets, accumulating points in driving, chipping, and putting. The top three from each age and gender will advance to a sub-regional, and the eventual champion will get a chance to play in the finals at Augusta National during the week of the 2019 Masters Tournament. After helping the Braves win three pennants and a World Series title in the 90s, Chipper Jones is joining five other integral members of those teams in Cooperstown. The switch hitting third baseman racked up 468 home runs over 19 MLB seasons, sporting a lifetime batting average above 300. Jones says his father got a little teary eyed in the Hall of Fame Museum this week, looking up at Yankee legend Mickey Mantle's plaque. If he gets that choked up for for Mickey Mantle, what do you think it's going to be when he goes up and puts his hand on, on his son's plaque? Um, I think I'll probably well up with tears, you know, watching that happen. The real tears start tomorrow when Jones and five others are inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame. That's a look at sports. Your winning lotto numbers are straight ahead. Stay with us. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Pets bring so much joy to our lives. They're loyal, they're protective, and smart. Yet as smart as our pets might be, they can't advocate for themselves, especially in the event of a natural disaster. During Hurricane Harvey, many families were separated from their pets. That's why it's important your pet is part of your family's disaster preparedness plan. Talk to your veterinarian and visit banfieldfoundation.org disaster. Don't save it for a rainy day. 
the ABC7 First Alert weather app just got even better. It's easy to use once you download it. First, tell the app to follow you so you get alerts pinpointed to exactly where you are. Then customize your settings with all the places you go, from the beach to grandmother's house. Get accurate alerts for everyone you care about. You can even pick which weather alerts and categories you want and what they sound like. More ways to customize and more ways to keep your family safe. Download the ABC7 First Alert weather app today. My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Chartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to disabilitieswork.com employflorida.com. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Well, the rain will be returning soon, but how are we looking for tomorrow? We're, we're actually looking pretty good. During the morning hours, we may get a couple of coastal showers, but they're not going to be moving on short. We're going to see the rains developing east of I-75 and then start making their way to the coastline. So that's what we'll get. Longer periods of sunshine means hot temperatures. It's going to feel like 90. Well, no, it's it will be 90. It's going to feel like 100. <laughs> Oh, that's even better. There you go. But there has been some showers east of the interstate, but those will finally come in and cool us off just a little bit. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. I called my husband. He told me we had rain. We had rain. <laughs> there you go. Wendy's husband said we had rain. We had rain. Yeah, it's unofficial weather <laughs> forecast from east of the interstate. <laughs> the following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. 
It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin, heroin so nice? addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids.